Hi fans of high quality entertainment. As you can see, I have my very own Canadian Stud Muffin Festival. Uh, this is a app that's on Spotify and I think Apple Music and maybe one or two other music apps. And it's just, you know, kind of fun. They automatically put this together with what you listen to on Spotify. I was Maybe there is a way you can change it a bit because I certainly would. But this is what they came up with if I had a Canadian Stub Muffin Fest. So Friday, the big headliner would be Sparks with <laughs> Paul McCartney in second spot. But that's one thing I would definitely change. And of course, you know, David Bowie sadly isn't with us anymore. But this is if everybody was alive. And so I would definitely have Paul McCartney headlining. Sorry, Sparks. <laughs> but Sparks... Paul McCartney, yep. David Bowie, yep. Frank Zappa, for sure. Yes, yes. Ramones, yes. ZZ Top. Um, there's probably other acts I would choose besides them. But, you know, I love ZZ Top still. John Anderson? No, because he'd be, I think he's with Yes somewhere. Well, look at that. Yes, yeah, so I would have Yes instead of John Anderson. Uh. George Harrison, Jefferson Airplane, yep, Johnny Cash, yes, and Elvis Costello. So that's a pretty good Friday lineup with Paul McCartney headline. And then Saturday, uh, well, see, yeah, I guess, you know, the Beatles. <laughs> I guess Paul has his solo career and he's still with the Beatles. So the Be Beatles are headlining. Then The Clash, Genesis, and Queen. I think Queen would be... I think I'd have Queen opening on Sunday instead of Lou Reed. But, or I'd switch it and have The Beatles on Sunday, the final, you know, headliner. And then Queen would open on Saturday. Then The Clash and Genesis, uh, Grand Funk Railroad, Alice Cooper, the band, yes. Man, that'd be kind of interesting. I've been really into their music recently. The Doors, Led Zeppelin, of course. I know some people would think they should headline. They, they would be up in your top. Wings? I would have Wings with Paul McCartney. Just combined. And the Rolling Stones. <laughs> the Rolling Stones start the uh, Saturday lineup. I don't think so. And then Sunday, like I said, instead of Lou Reed, I'd have the Beatles. But Lou Reed would definitely be in there. And then Captain Beefheart and his magic band. The Velvet Underground. Lou Reed. Creedence Clearwater Revival. John Lennon. Yeah. The Monkees. The Kinks. I'm sorry, but I'd have Yoko Ono. She'd be with, with John Lennon, though. Bloister Cult, for sure. I'd have them moved up a bit. Wire, Marillion, and Bob Dylan. Not one of my... You know, I love Bob Dylan. I do his music. But out of all the acts there, he's not... He'd be lower on the list for me. So what else from the end of the year or near the end of the year for Spotify? So I, in 2022, I had total play time of 13,232 minutes. That's more than 58% of other listeners in Canada. Your top artist this year was the Beatles. I don't believe them. <laughs> and, you know, I, plus I listened to their CDs. You spent 824 minutes together. You were in the top 1% of the Beatles listeners this year. Your top artists, The Beatles, Sparks, Marillion, The Clash, and Emily TV. They were this young uh, California band that wrote to me a few months ago. And they asked me to check out their music and do a review. And, you know, I don't usually do it. I, that's why I have my Patreon page now uh, to review any music. And 
But I was so impressed, so I enjoyed doing the video for them and, you know, trying to promote them. And yeah, I did play their songs <laughs> quite, a, quite a lot. Your top songs 2022. So there's, I think, a hundred. So not a problem by Emily TV. It's number at number one. I played Angst in My Pants a lot by Sparks. Then more Emily TV. Because, you know, when I was reviewing, going to do the review, I I wanted to listen to the songs quite a few times. And then more Emily TV, Eloy. Jefferson Airplane, Blind Faith, The Amboy Dukes, The Lemon Pipers, Race is Nice, I love that song, Rolling Stones, Sparks, and The Beatles, Captain Beefheart. More Sparks, David Bowie, Canned Heat, The Monkees, Credence Clearwater Revival, Marillion, The Rascals, Captain Beefheart. More Sparks, more Marillion. More Beatles. Sparks, new. I love their first album. I want to get that sometime. All Simon Graceland. Clash. Of course, you know, I, I was listening to The Clash quite a bit on Spotify. And that's when it was like, I'm going to get that box set. Their uh, sound system, huge box set. Finally got, but a month ago. More of the Kinks, Paul Revere and the Raiders, Deep Purple, Eloy again, Hawkwind, King Crimson, Golden Earring, David Bowie, and Zeppelin. But, you know... I would say I listen. I'm I mainly listen to my CDs, but maybe twenty percent, twenty five percent of what I listen to is on Spotify. Even if I have the CD, right? I I sometimes will just listen to it on Spotify. Or David Bowie, Led Zeppelin, King Crimson, The Monkees, Lou Reed, Blue Cheer. Hawkwind, or Clash, Grand Funk Railroad, Frank Zappa, Bee Gees. Man, The Kinks, Paul McCartney. And then at the end, Captain Beefheart, Ramones, Caravan. Presby Stills, Dash, and Young, James Brown, Hawkwind, and Kraftwerk. You know, like something like uh, Radioactivity by Kraftwerk. I did play it on Spotify probably five times or so, but then I would also play my CD a few times. So this is just, this doesn't really show what I listened to in the whole year, because like I said, it's mainly the CDs I listen to, but it's still... Interesting to see when I am on Spotify what I listen to. And so, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.